Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As per the latest report from the New Indian Express, the Ministry of Defense is likely to clear the budget of rupees 14000 crore for the development of four prototypes of TEDBF. The design of the naval fighter has been completed by EDA and this design will be used by the HAL to produce the prototypes. The Navy has projected a requirement of about 60 aircraft. These naval fighters will be deployed on the recently inducted INS Vikrant. Now, once the budget for the development of the prototype is cleared, an order will be given to HL for the development of the prototypes. During the Indian Navy Day in December 2022, the Naval Chief has said that the light combat aircraft, that is Naval LCA project, has significantly helped in developing and proposed the next generation deck based fighters. Navy is preparing the draft cabinet note for that and it's confident that by 2026, Navy should have the prototype. The production of the aircraft would start by 2032. During Defense Expo 2022, ADA has also reported that TEDBA program can be executed in eight years after the funding approval from Cabinet Committee on Security is given. ADA is expecting funding clearance from Cabinet Committee on Security by June 2023. Once it is approved, it will take another 4 to 4.5 years for rollout of the first prototype, which means that the first prototype can be expected around 2028 and after that, the fighter jet can enter into the production by the year 2032. Now, talking about TEDBF, it is Indian Navy's twin-engine deck-based fighter jet program and is equally important for Navy as AMCA for the Air Force. It is a twin-engine fighter jet with canard and delta wing configuration designed to operate from an aircraft carrier. It's going to be a multi-role combat aircraft. The frontal section of this aircraft has been improved for reduced radar cross-section. The canard wings will help in generating more lift for aircraft by launching from the aircraft carrier and perform aggressive maneuvers at lower speed and aid in landing on the aircraft carrier. The fighter jet will have a length of 16.3 meters and will feature a folding wing configuration. Its unfolded wingspan is 11.2 meters and when folded, it is 7.6 meter. It can easily fit into the lift of INS Vikranadit and INS Vikrant. The TEDBF would host indigenous sensors and avionics which are already developed or under development for LCO Mark II and AMCA programs. It features a scaled up Uttam AC radar with air, ground and sea modes. The TEDBF will incorporate advanced sensor fusion techniques for better situation awareness and an indigenous data link and communication system for secure communication and exchange of sensor data. It will feature a foldable wing, sharp edge frontal fuselage, divertless supersonic inlet, canards and leading edge extension. The fighter jet will have a maximum takeoff weight of 26 tons with service ceiling of 60,000 feet. It will be powered by two American G F414 GE INS6 turbofan engine to be made in India by HL. This engine is the highest thrust variant of F414 model and includes state of art technology to meet Indian Navy's requirement. Technical advances including a full authority digital electronic control and added single engine safety features are some of the advanced features of this engine. It can generate a thrust of more than 97.9 kN with afterburner. With advanced and more powerful engine, TEDBF can attain a maximum speed of 1.6 Mach. The fighter jet can perform maneuvers between plus 8G and minus 3G. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.